Hey guys, back at you with another details. This is back to back recordings here on GSO. Similar groups to last time. John Wild on my side, Junior across from me. A couple of other players that you might recognize. Same thing, remember in the beginning, power plant towards the back, keep it safe, maybe towards your better um, teammate as well. That way you guys can keep each other safe. Barracks out front. If you're not using the build last building buttons or place building hotkeys, make sure you do that. That will speed up your building. Send out a scout pretty early and then try not to get scouted. Uh, notice if there's a bunch of scouts coming towards your teammate and try and help them get the stop. Get your economy going, get on the blue tip, build up a bigger amount of infantry or the same amount of infantry as the person across from you, and then just maneuver yours better, which is using disc throwers from a distance, backing up, letting them come into you and surrounding them and attacking, outnumbering them, etc. And then keep the pressure on and keep the tempo, keep moving into them. So this light blue player, I can't really read who this is. Um, yeah, he's got those Vulcan cannons really early. Probably not a good idea because how is he going to be attacking? How is he going to keep the tempo? Anytime you go on the defense, especially early on, we don't really have to. You're putting yourself at a disadvantage. So I would not do that right away if I was him. Especially if he's GDI, which I think he is. He should be doing exactly what we're doing. So Red's trying to help out, trying to snipe my disc throwers. I'm going to let him come into my imp. And then get green in there too. So Red should not back off there because it looked like he had just not same amount as me plus the help from his teammates coming, but he did. Now they're at a major disadvantage. Green shouldn't put his War Factory out there, I don't think. Yes, his Titans are going to become a little closer to action, but if he gets under heat, War Factory is easier to pick off. I think he should put in the back, in my opinion. What do you guys think about Green's placement there? I'm just putting a uh, component tower there out front in case I ever need it for myself or green. But also that way when I build my uh, uh, radar that I don't forget to have a component tower. My teammate messed up the engines. Here I'm just scouting and also trying to pick off a few infantry here and there. Alright, so Green has the early Titans out there like he likes to do on this map. And he could do that when the opponent across from him is weak, losing the inf battle, not putting enough pressure. Um, if he's hurting his economy going the early Titans against a good player across from him, which you saw in probably one of the last games. Um, well, I don't know if I posted that one, but uh, it's going to be a major disadvantage. So you want to get the, the upper hand there. And once you got four or five Rs and rest going, pump Titans, get an EMP, and just play the game from there. So we've got Imp up there. We're doing fine everywhere. Bottom side's a little bit behind because of their engineer attacks, but you know, with our help, we're going to clear this out, no problem. Purple's getting too aggressive here in the middle too early, I think. Uh, what do you guys think? Because... If he's all by himself out there, and he's not rich, and doesn't have a ton of units behind, he's not going to be able to hold that middle at all. We'll see in a second what he's got behind it. Green is wasting his Titans up there, that's bad. And he's feeling the pressure of being broke with his, account, with his build order. So I should be controlling my hearts a little better, make sure I'm getting blue tib, but I'm um, staying busy doing other things it looks like. Yeah, purple's only doing infantry, which it looks like he is ahead of gold, because gold's been sending out engineers, but no, look, gold's got all these titans, so purple needs to ditch the strategy at this moment, I think, because what's he going to do if gold's and, and or myself send all my stuff out? Which looks like we're about to do. So, good idea, especially if your opponent's still on infantry only or way behind on economy, but when they start getting ahead of you, you gotta pull back and catch up. 
So we can do whatever we want. Purple for one, two. Blue's ready to help. Green wants to move out, but we're going to see here in a second that red's got just as much, if not more. And then same old, same old EMP and move. And red gives up, he sees what's coming. You know, this is how most GSO games go. It is interesting if all the players are, are pretty equal. They're both doing similar strategies. And then you will get to where people are building towards the middle, putting up a bunch of towers or other things, and then the game gets can be pretty long. Um, I think on this, just like other maps, you have good players and you can mix Nod and GDI. It's just that much stronger because it's hard to guard attacks coming from multi-angles, as well as if you build a middle wall of component towers, SAMs, um, the Nod tanks that shoot far away, and the GDI units. It's just tougher to get through. So that's just two examples of my ideas of GSO. Let me know what I'm missing. Um, I'd be also curious to see what you guys think about Nod's best uh, uh, tactics on GSO, since I don't really use Nod on here. What I've seen is similar Go Economy, Infantry, Build to the Middle. Um, you can even build up behind. You kind of bunk a little bit and let your other players attack, and then you can you know, catch up with your tech units. But let me know your guys' thoughts on that. All right, till next time.